Hello, my name is Drupal and I will be giving you a basic introduction to calculus derivatives. Derivatives can be intimidating, but they can be broken down into three fundamental concepts. Slope, algebra, and application. A derivative is just the slope of the graph, or how fast something changes, like a rate. Derivatives are derived from the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. However, x1 and x2 really just represent the intervals on the graph. So the formula is only accurate for functions with a constant rate of change. And for curvy functions, it'd have to be an estimation. In contrast, derivatives are universal, and you can find the rate of change at any point with them. But they're also defined as a function. So if we have the function f of x, then the derivative is notated as f prime of x, with this little apostrophe up top. So let's say you have the graph of f of x equals x cubed, and you want to find the slope at 2. So first, we need to find the derivative. Fortunately, there's this powerful rule called power rule, which works for any function that is written in the form ax to the n, where a and n are both numbers. In this example, x cubed, the power rule moves the exponent down here and multiplies it by the coefficient. In this case, it's 1, so 3 times 1 is leaving us with 3. But it also subtracts 1 from the exponent here, so then we're going to be left with an x squared. So 3x squared is our derivative. And since we're trying to find the slope at x equals 2, all we do is plug in 2 for x. So then f prime of 2 is going to equal 3 times 2 squared, which is equal to 12. That means that x cubed is increasing at a rate of 12 at x equals 2. However, there are a lot more derivative rules like trig and exponential. Along with that, there are also real life applications for derivatives. One of the big ones is motion. So let's say I kick a soccer ball and model it with a function. The graph would just show the position of the ball at different times. But what happens if you take the derivative? Realistically, the derivative of position is just how fast your position is changing, which can be rewritten as velocity. And then the rate at which velocity is changing is acceleration. These three functions are crucial in physics and the real world because they're applicable in lots of situations. Well, that's basically one semester of calculus. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.